Hi, it's been more than a year since I last reviewed this Unity UT61E Plus multimeter. As I promised, I would be using it as my primary multimeter and give you some of my thoughts after I have been using it for a while. So now it's a year later, let's take another look. I will leave a link to my original review in the video description below for those who have not watched it yet. So how do I feel about this meter a year later? Well, let's find out. Spoiler alert, for those who are impatient, you can skip to the conclusions towards the end. But I wanted to let you know that I really like this meter, and it's definitely a meter I would use on a daily basis. With that said, first let's talk about a few things I don't care about, and get the negatives out of the way. The first thing I want to talk about is the range switch. Now, this is perhaps one of the things impacted my experience the most. It is hard to describe if you don't have this meter in your hand and experience it for yourself. How I would describe it is a little bit spongy and imprecise. You will occasionally find yourself in between ranges like what just happened here, and that's actually really annoying. Reliability-wise though, I don't think there's uh, any issue whatsoever. It's just unfortunately that uh, the feel of the switch is just not quite right. Till this day, one of the best range switch designs I have ever seen is on my BK Precision 2709B. And it is such a joy to use this meter because of the crisp and precise feel of the range switch. Of course, the range switch is really just icing on the cake and it doesn't really affect the functionality of the meter, but it is something you will notice immediately. For the UT61E+, Plus, I have not encountered any reliability issue as a result of the range switch design over the long term. Next, I want to talk about the power consumption and the use of AAA batteries. The power consumption of this meter is on the high side. While by itself, it is really not a big issue, but they're using AAA batteries instead of AA batteries. So the capacity is significantly less, and I found myself needing to change the batteries multiple times during the last year or so, which is definitely more frequent than most of the other meters I had ever had. I think I mentioned in the teardown video that there was enough space inside this meter to accommodate the usage of uh, AA batteries instead of the AAA batteries. Now, of course, they had to make some design changes, but uh, there nevertheless was enough space. If they changed the orientation of the batteries, I think they would be able to fit the AA batteries instead of AAAs. Again, this is a minor issue and does not impact the accuracy or the reliability of the meter whatsoever. It is just something I noticed while using the meter for the long term. Next, I want to talk about the AC plus DC measurement. So this is probably one of the highly controversial feature of this meter. Instead of displaying the DC component, let me just switch to AC plus DC. You will see that the measurement actually keeps switching back between the AC measurement and the DC measurement, unlike some of the fancier meters that the displays are on two separate displays, one primary display and one secondary display. This one is just switching back and forth. While it does its job, anyone could just do this uh, particular measurement manually. So it is a bit of a disappointing to see this is how they implemented this feature on this meter. Next, I want to talk about the high burden voltage while doing current measurement. Now, it is not uncommon for multimeters to have high burden voltages while measuring current. It all depends on the multimeter design. The burden voltages for different current ranges are noticeably higher on this multimeter compared to other similar multimeters with similar current measurement ranges. With that said, you can easily avoid this problem by switching to a higher range and given the high count of this meter, you can still get very accurate measurement results without encountering the unnecessary voltage drop with a higher range. And there are a few other minor things that people mention. One is the non-contact voltage measurement, NCV. That is very insensitive, and uh, you have to really put the live wire right next to the meter for it to register the voltage. So that is uh, one thing that is a little bit unfortunate. Another thing is the inclusion of the HFE measurement instead of a dedicated temperature probe. Now, I do find this very useful, and that's just probably because the work I do. But nevertheless, a lot of people don't like the extra cost associated with this adapter. They'd rather have a temperature probe instead. 
With these shortcomings out of the way, let's now move on to the areas where this meter really shines. First, let's talk about the display. The display is something that you look at every day, and you will not be disappointed at this one at all. The display on this UT61E Plus is probably one of the best LCD displays you will find on any multimeters. The viewing angles and the contrast are just great. Next, I want to talk about the supplied probes. These probes are gold-plated, as you can see here. They are sharp, but not too sharp. If you have used ProbeMaster probes, you will know what I'm talking about by too sharp. The wires, though, could be a little bit softer, but uh, other than that, the probes work just fine. Now let's talk about uh, measurement accuracy. Needless to say, measurement accuracy and repeatability are probably the most important things when you choose a multimeter. And the UT61E Plus definitely shines in these areas. I have periodically checked the measurement accuracy against my EDC MV216A voltage standard over the last year, and the measurement accuracy has not drifted much at all. You can definitely trust the readings with this meter with confidence. And then there is measurement speed. Measurement speed is another important factor. For this reason alone, I think you will like the Unity UT61E. This is especially important when measuring the resistance. And of course, the UT61E is very fast in all ranges. But if you take a look at the resistance measurement range, you will see how fast this is. In fact, I mentioned this is actually faster than my BK Precision 2709B, which is already very fast. So that definitely is a very, very important feature if you are choosing a multimeter. And uh, finally, I wanted to mention the included PC software. If you do a lot of data logging, you will appreciate the included PC connectivity. The control is bi-directional, meaning you can use your PC to control the meter when connected. I have demonstrated this in one of my previous videos, which I will link down below. I had initially run into some connectivity issues with my Linux PC, and I suspect it was largely due to the drivers used. But uh, after I got it working, I haven't really got any problems with it. Now, I did see in my video comments that some other people have run into various issues with their Windows PCs and other OSs. So I don't know how widespread the issue actually is. But it's just something to keep in mind as your mileage might vary. So all in all, I think the UT61E Plus is an excellent multimeter to have for your electronics work. It's reliable, it's accurate, and it is fast. Sure, it has its shortcomings, but in grand scheme of things, I think it is really a solid meter. Leave your comments and thoughts below if you have this meter and have been using it for a while, and see if you agree with my assessment. And don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as well. I will catch up with you next time.